Hello everyone, and welcome back to Crastorio 2. Uh, this is Otaku Shobo. This is our second episode of this series. Thank you all so very much for the engagement on episode 1. Please continue to do so as we go forward with this series. And do all of the other engagement and social stuff below the video. I now also have the map exchange string available on my Discord server on the string sharing channel. You can find that link to my public Discord in the description. So we left off, uh, I see, with needing fuel for the iron furnaces. We are in the midst of the burner phase of the game. Uh, after having spent a long time with things like setup uh, in the previous video, uh, episode one. So our goal going forward is to get into steam power, and as we see here, I am getting the initial basic fluid handling tech that will be the first step along the way because we also need to be able to have boilers and steam engines to do the uh, steam power. Uh, the idea here is to get into this, then also get into things like the greenhouses as well as automation, uh, so that I can actually get started with everything else that I need to do. Uh, let me see, do I have, like, where's the regular? I need, uh... Logistics. I need logistics. Where does logistics get unlocked in here? What are my prereqs for logistics? The actual red science is logistics uh, tech. So this is one of the next major goals uh, for me going forward is to get into actual electronic inserters as well as get underground belts, splitters, and the Crastorio loaders. Uh, that, however, is going to mean that I need to be able to make the red automation tech cards. Now, that is going to need the automation cores as well as the blank tech cards. That is iron and copper as well as more iron and copper. So that is something that is able to be handcrafted, generally speaking. I will, uh, of course do that exact thing. Ooh, we got, uh, we got nice stone bricks being made out of here. That will come in handy specifically with this. Uh, the deep water wells, the, the stone water wells mod, uh, is incredibly useful and is what would allow me to actually play on the map without having additional water on it. Uh, it's just one of those water anywhere mods. It's completely separate from Castorio. Uh, that I I tend to use uh, as my mod of choice for the various uh, from the various ways of getting water anywhere. Like there there's mods that let you just make water on the map that you can use regular pumps on. There's mods that basically have a pump jack you can place anywhere that's uh, just water on demand. This particular mod that I like using, the stone water wells, gives you a 5x5 five five well that you can use uh, to get water on demand. It is the exact same thing as a standard pump. It does 1200 units per second of fluid. And it's, it's pretty awesome, and I can now actually make them. Uh, and this lets me do lots of various things. But because it's five by five, hello, I, I I kitten next to me bringing me bringing me her toy. Uh, because it's five by five, yellow underground belts do not have the length to stretch beneath them. Hi. How how's my how's the dolly? Dolly saying hi. Yes, dolly dolly's here. She's brought me she's brought me her baby. Yes, she's brought me her baby. You you wanna you wanna play with your baby? Here, go go get go get your baby. And let me let me record this video. Uh do I wanna have extra labs is a 
pretty good question. It would speed things up a little bit. Hi, again, you, you brought, you, she brought it back. Here, go get it. Fetch! Fetch, kitty! L literally playing fetch with a cat right now. Because, because they, yes, meow. It's over there. It's over there. All right. It's, yeah, it's, it's on the floor. Go get it. Go get it. She has obtained the toy. Will she bring it back to me? That is, that is the question on everyone's mind right now. Uh, so the unfortunate part about the water wells is it does, yes, she has, she has brought it back. She, she has, she has brought it back. It's here. Hi. Yeah, play, play with it next to me. Just, just don't bring it on top of me, because that ends up being a little bit more difficult for me to handle. Just, or try to get on, don't try to get on the back of this chair. You've, you've done enough to the back of this chair. I don't know if you can really see that the damage to the back of this chair from, from the kitten claws. It's, the, this, this chair, by the way, just for reference, I'm not, I don't care about what's happening, uh, to, with the kitten claws, just because it's, uh, it's already got a lot of wear and tear. Uh, just, it wasn't worn on that specific part yet. Hi. There, 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 there. Are you, are you gonna, are you gonna do it? Are you going to do it? She, you just saw her pause. As if she was going to climb up behind me with the toy in her mouth. With the toy in her mouth. Anyway. Uh, so the shelter, by the way, is an actual uh, great big storage chest. If I need to store anything, like, say, those, uh, I can do so. Oh, hey. The Ollie came, too. He's also here next to me. Oh, yes, and the, the gigantic icons, too. Yes, I, I also have that setting uh, enabled. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make a couple of extra doohickeys. Just, uh, just a couple of extra doohickeys. I need a little bit of coal for those. Probably not that much in the grand scheme of things. Oh, those beams. That handcrafting speed on those beams is awful. I very much need some wonderful handcrafting speed tech. That would be... Uh, very, very nice. Uh, what's the power draw on these? 200 kilowatts. Yeah. Uh, yeah stuff. Things. Uh, I will need some wind turbines then. <laughs> uh, if I am going to actually uh, do this. Uh, because, yeah. That's that's a bit of a bit of a stretch on the power draw. Now, this is I don't actually know. How much does the shelter provide? Because the shelter does supposedly provide. It provides 120 kilowatts. So I have 120 plus the 240 from this uh, ship reactor. Which, uh, you know, I thought... Yes, I can see that the that the amount of energy it has is decreasing. That, that little bar has a sliver. A sliver that it's been used so far so it is technically an accumulator from what i can see it doesn't actually tell me what the total charge is what's the total oh i guess it doesn't count as an accumulator technically but it does have an internal buffer of energy so it's similar to uh roboports and that mechanic with uh being able to charge your uh, robots. That's the closest thing I can think of uh, with this, and it has this internal buffer. So if we're using this 240, I don't know if this is able to provide that 240 infinitely high. Hey, we've got we've got we've got a kitten with with a with her toy. She 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 has her she has her toy. Yeah, you. That's your toy. That's your baby. This is Dolly, by the way. Last time, last time you met Ollie, uh, on the back of the chair. Now, now you have met Dolly, with her toy on the back of the chair. There, there you go. That's the that's both kittens, both kittens in each episode, in, in as many episodes. So yeah, that's gonna happen, uh, from time to time. 
they, they, they like to play with their toys, and they like bringing me their toys, so let's just keep that in mind. Also, I did Shift-C there, that's the uh, even distribution mod that adds that functionality. Uh, I do have those wind turbines now, so I can... Uh, I can start placing the wind turbines. Ooh, that was not a good spot for you, clearly. Oof. The, uh, just the spacing on these is not that great. Make me a bunch of power poles. Like, that would be, that would be great. I could use those. I could use a bunch of power Hi, again. Welcome back. Oh, right. I... I don't have... Ow! Claw. <laughs> In my shoulder. Like, I felt that claw. Okay, we have the ability to do the uh, steam power now. Uh, that's... that's the main thing. Hello. Dolly. References. Uh, so the Crusher is technically our voiding item. That's the, uh... Thing that I mentioned I was questioning last time. It's like, oh, we have the the fluid uh, burner. What about a, uh, like, a equivalent burning of solids? Well, this is the solid destroyer here. Like, the, it's, it's the crusher. I always forget that the crusher is a voiding item. Every item inserted into the crusher that the crusher can't process will be destroyed. So, this is your building that will void solid goods. This is this is what I wanted to know. I forget that it does this because it specifically makes sand from stone. It specifically makes sand from stone, crushes stone into uh, 7 and 8, between 7 and 8 sand that you then can process into glass. It's primarily used for that. But, of course, uh, it is a voiding item. So, that was my answer to that question. Uh, there. We still need more. These do 20. Wow. Okay. Sure, let's do another 10. Let's do another 10 on these things. This is why, by the way, I want to have uh, the wonderful things. Actually, I can just, like, copy and paste. Like so. Uh, and as I get more stuff, uh, make it 12. As I get more stuff, we'll be able to do things. And yes, the, uh, the production here is still doing way more making way more of these basic tech cards than I have the labs for. Note that uh, I need to make labs anyway because the damaged research computer can only do basic tech cards. It can only accept basic tech cards. It cannot accept the uh, red tech cards, green, mill, and chemical. It, it cannot take any of the others. Very, very important thing to note. Uh, so you will need the power production uh, going into the red science. Uh, I do have a nice little accumulation of copper plates and accumulation of iron plates. Uh, let me now make... Uh, I do have other assemblers here, so I could... Oh, you... Huh. Well, that's good to know. It does have some limits on what you can make out of these damaged assembling machines. Cool. Actually. That's actually decent. Hello. Welcome back. She just she just climbed my chair from the floor and put her hooks into it. Now now her haunches are behind me. Hi. And she she of course has her toy too. Bye. Now she's on the desk. She she still has her baby with her. Car carrying around her toy. Yes, that's your toy. That's your that's your toy. Oh, Ollie, don't bite her. Don't bite your sister. Okay, I 
I need stuff. I I just need stuff at this point. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. Uh, I have the water well. That would be one point eight megawatts times two, so three point six. 3.6 megawatts capable of those two boilers uh, and four steam engines. She is just going nuts next to me. Wow. Wow. We're, we're about halfway through today's uh, episode, by the way. In case you're wondering. In case you are wondering about that. Hey. You, you like your toy? Go get your toy. I need fuel. Hey. Hey, hey. Do do not attack my cord. Do do not attack the cord on my headphones. That would be that would be bad. That would be really bad. Really bad kitty. If they did that. Oh hey, I I can do I can do this now. Yay, power. I've got enough power now for my for my various things. Huzzah! And all that good stuff. Um It's still pulling from the ship reactor though. Technically. Maybe it just doesn't run out of energy. Maybe maybe it just doesn't. Because that uh that bar hasn't gone down and it's still pulling from it. So it might just be a consistent 240. I, I don't know. Might just be that consistent 240. Uh, it's hard to tell because it, do, it doesn't have anything uh, to tell me how it particularly works. Now, I, I'll note, I think some of this is like technically it's not Crass... No, it is Crastorio because it's added... It's there on the tooltip. Crastorio 2. These, these things are from K2. But just... There's questions I have just part of my own curiosity at this point uh, in regards to how things work. All right, what is next? I have my boilers, so I can start to progress into more complex things. Uh, just note that I do not have access to very many things that do need power right now. Although I did just get uh, crushers uh, available. So, there's some crushers. Uh, I will need more mining. Hopefully the uh, the mining has uh, been changed. Oh yes, and this will, of course, also need fuel. So, the idea here is to have fuel going into those boilers. This is a lot easier if I had access to electric mines but I can't get electric mines until the red science. So let's uh, let's queue up the red science uh, so that I can get into those electric mining drills as well as logistics. That uh, that seems like a good plan for this stage of operations. Uh, this is now going to mostly feel like we're waiting a bit. But, uh, that, that's just what we'll have to deal with for the moment. Uh, because what, what I could do is I could be like, Hi, again. Welcome back. Welcome back, kitty. Miss Dolly. Uh, what I could do if I really did need the power at the moment, which I don't, is I could put down, uh, boiler, boiler, steam engines, properly aligned steam engines uh, and either directly throw coal into them or put in like that with water put in burner mining drills and then put the fuel into the mining drills and that would actually provide more fuel into the boilers than just directly giving them the uh, the coal excuse me kitty did you, did you drop it? Yes, she dropped her toy to the ground, and she just chased after it. So I could do something like that if I really wanted to uh, with direct feeding. But what I want to do is actually have something similar to this just with uh, electric mining drills. Hi. That, 
that's your toy. That's your toy. You like playing when I when I'm nearby. You like being near me when you're playing, right? Yes, because that's that's what the, the kittens like. They like being with people. But I, I, and unfortunately, right now I'm the only one around who they can be with uh, while they play. Yes, that that is true. A true statement. Oh, we're just waiting around at this point. I'm just trying to think about what to really talk about over the course of this. Uh, so I'm not using these uh, Sentinels claw, by the way, uh, just because they do consume electricity, and I'm trying to conserve on that. She's back. Hello again, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Uh, ooh, you need, you need fuel. Fuel for all the things. Ha, ow. Ish. I felt that claw. I felt that claw. Okay, Crusher! Yeah, that sounds about right. Ahem. <clears throat> Hi. Hello, my dolly. Hello, my ollie. Behind me. Uh, I need to grab more fuel. Oh, also, that uses power. Because, of course, it uses power. That now has power. And she has returned. The dolls. The dolls has returned. And now she's left. That's so what this is going to do. Is This is going to give me some wonderful, wonderful sand. And if I had some furnaces... Uh, what I'd be able to do after getting stone processing... Oh, right. It's not actually going to do anything until after I get stone processing. But this will be what I will end up doing here. So it's, like, prepared... It has prepared, it is prepared for, for wonderful stuff. Here, take those. Yes, yes, we're, we are rocking on our progress right now. Getting ever so, ever so closer. Uh, I could use more, uh, just more, more coal at this point, more coal production. Uh, because, yeah, that's a problem. I still need more and more on my plates. More and more plates are required for all of the things. All of the things. I will, of course, be doing some handcrafting once I do get into the red automation tech cards, the standard automation tech cards. Uh, that will be absolutely required. Uh, but for the moment, we're just waiting on... Uh, stone processing. Welcome back. Welcome back, Dolly. Uh, we'll get rid of that for now. Keep getting stuff. It's always, always nice having uh, the entertainment of Kitty next to you, especially during this particular period of time where there's not too much to really do. I'm going to make some some pipes clearly hello again welcome welcome with your with your toy she that's her that's her favorite toy by the way she she loves that toy uh of the free floating toys she will of course well there is another one i think that sort of might be more her favorite free floating but it's not actually toy uh, it's bottle caps. Little, little white plastic round bottle caps. Uh, she will go nuts. Chasing around, batting around, little plastic bottle caps. That would be, uh, probably be the number one most favorite toy. But that one's her baby. That one's, that one's her baby that she, that she takes around with her wherever she wants and just plays with it all, all around the house. She'll, she'll take it and, uh, Go on little adventures with her baby all over the place. So, yeah, that's that's her baby. Uh, Ollie has his own baby that he that he likes to uh, play with, and that is a little fishy. It's his it's his fishy that he likes to play with, uh, and he will take that around, bat it around, and uh, yeah, 
he'll he'll occasionally bring it to me and be like, hey, it's my it's my you see my you see my toy, you see my baby? Yes, I I, I see your baby. Oh, I have a lot more. Oof, uh, I have lots, lots of things. Um. I. I have not done this well. No, I have I have not done this thing well. I need another at, at, like two three four. No, no, that's... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That works. It works! Success! Success! Su su success, it works. Uh, so it's, it's going up, oh, uh, no, over, yes, up, over down over down over down over up and we now have the ability to actually have sand that will go and make me glass and it's good to start making the glass as soon as possible may want to uh, have a lot more of that glass uh, with uh, quite a few more of these and a few more of these There we go. Need to provide all of the coal on the planet to everything that exists. A uh, good old ship C there evenly distributes all of the coal. Oh, it is it is putting coal into these though. I need to uh, pick these up at this point because I don't actually need uh, that steam power yet, barely. That's a bit more coal. See, it's it's fine. It will work out just fine. Everything will be fine. Oh, of course, I do need to make sure that I stay away from this when I do my shift C. Otherwise, I'll just end up putting coal right back into my coal extractors, uh, which is counterproductive, to say the least. Definitely... Definitely counterproductive, to say the least. Now, how are you doing? You only let 24 exist in you at any one time? That is highly annoying. Oh, you fuel leech! You leech fuel! Okay, that's good to know. That has to be a Crastorio thing. That does- or- oh god, did they change that at some point in vanilla? I forget completely. No, 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 no. No, I think what they did was they added a thing that modders can use. They added a flag to inserters that modders could use, and it's enabled in Crastorio. That's what I think. That's, I think, the, 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 the stuff there. Uh, so they, there was a mod called Fuel Leech that you would need to have installed if you actually wanted uh, your burner inserters to pull from a building that has fuel in it uh, to do something just like this. Uh, but, uh, as you can see here, it, uh, it still needs more because it can't unload the sand fast enough or I can shift stuff over. Great, wonderful, beautiful. Uh, but yeah, it's actually part of Crestorio, I guess, that this does... It can take fuel from furnaces. It literally tells you. It literally tells you in the tooltip it can take fuel from furnaces or any other entity that it can reach. There you go. It it says it does it on the tooltip. Let's, let's read the tooltips on occasion. Uh, just like the, the shelter tooltip here. It says it has 200 slots for storing items and gives 120 kilowatts of passive power. 
There can only be one shelter per surface per team. So even though there is a tech to be able to make shelters, um, because I don't have additional surfaces, I will not be able to actually place additional shelters, even if I can make them. Uh, the only thing that I wish that this damaged ship reactor had was, again, a tooltip saying what exactly it is, if it's a perpetual source of power of, uh, of 240, because it appears as if it is a perpetual source of 240 kilowatts of power. It does appear as if it is perpetual. All righty, then. I have I have a good supply of glass coming in to be able to make the greenhouses. I do hope that I can do everything else associated with this. Yes, I will need wood, though. Uh, so it's probably going to be a good idea to go up here and start mining some wood as we approach the end of today's episode. Because we have hit that... 30 minute range at this point. I think the videos going forward are going to be within this 30 minute range or so. So, uh, I do hope you enjoyed Kitten. The Kitten episode with, with Dolly featuring much, much Dolly. Uh, for reference, and, and because I know people are going to want to say Dolly's name in comments, write it out. Uh, her name is spelled D O L L E Y. Hello. Where's your where's your where's your baby? Where's your baby? What'd you do with your baby? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? You are you're, you're going to you're going to come say goodbye? Yes, she has she has come to say goodbye. Her name is D O L L E Y, uh not D O L L Y, uh because she's named for Dolly Madison. Uh a first lady of the United States, although she doesn't she doesn't know that. She she doesn't know that. Yes. Hello. You're you're on my back. What do you what do you see? What what do you see? What do you see, my dolly? What do you what do you see? Here she is. She's come to say goodbye. Say goodbye, dolly. Say goodbye, dolly. It's time to end off the episode. With that, folks, I would like to very much thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been Otaku Shipout. If you have been enjoying this series thus far please be sure to do all the engagement and social stuff below the video uh, i stream on twitch at twitch.tv slash with uh, the pie suite currently but we are in the process of determining what i should expand out to uh to other forms of content through streaming uh so you can go ahead and uh, i have a poll available through you can get there my discord server i'll probably put a link below the video etc etc uh to uh have a look at all that uh you can of course also support me through various means there that's all in the description below the video but of course i will always mention that uh, i do have a patreon at patreon.com slash otaku showboat uh, i have various rewards for number of patrons not level of support that you can check out uh, and of course as always i will see you all on the next one